Hello everyone, welcome back to The Burning of Isaac. Alright, it's been a few weeks. No. Maybe a couple of weeks actually since I last played it. It's an Eve run. We must remind ourselves why we're here, which is to find those elusive two items. I do quite like an Eve run. It means you start off with some of the, uh, well, one of the deal with the devil items that I often would prefer to pick up, if possible. So now that we don't have to pick it up, it means I don't have to take a deal with the devil to do so. Although, <laughs> early on of course, Eve's actual damage is pretty poor, we have to say. Um, so, usual Eve meta. We do have the Razor Blade, Razor Blade, um, which allows us to, if we want to, cost ourselves one of our red hearts to, not permanently, just the, the heart inside it. All stats up is pretty nice. To get some damage on the particular room that we're on, so it will cost us a full HP to get some damage for just one room, which is not necessarily a great idea, but if we have enough spirit hearts uh, to our name... Uh, help. Please die. Thank you. Uh, if we have enough spirit hearts, then actually taking those red hearts away from us is doubly beneficial because, of course, it would activate the Horror of Babylon. We all know this. There's no point necessarily going over it over and over again, but... I'm just hoping for maybe a crawl space or something in there, so... Uh, not a terrible idea, I think, to at least try. A bomb for a bomb uh, is something... I'm really trying not to sound like Northern Lion, but I watch so much of his content that you just sort of pick up stuff. And honestly, I'm pretty sure I would have said a bomb for a bomb, the bang, the bang, dicky. Anyway, even if I hadn't heard Northern Lion say it, but I don't know... I don't know how much of my uh, commentary is just lifted from other people on the internet. I like to think that I have uh, a reasonable sort of conflagration, no that's fire, conflation of the various YouTubers that I watch uh, in my spare time, which is all of my time, which uh, I think honestly maybe I should put up <laughs> a, a list of other people that are worth watching on the channel. I'll, I'll probably do that, so remind me if it hasn't gone up in the next week or so. I will try and remember to put things on the channel, links to other people that I think are worth watching, because obviously if I watch them, you should watch them too. Uh, we'll just keep going here. I see no reason to hang around. We have a little horn fight. Not taking red heart damage on this fight is... Actually, do you know what? I'm going to use it. We get a um, little bird helping out. We're not going to get to Horror Babylon from this. Uh, dead bird, I should say, not little bird. We're not going to get Horror Babylon just from using the razor blade, but we do get a damage upgrade for this fight. We're not going to lose out on anything in terms of the deal with the devil because there isn't going to be one anyway. And remember not to take it because we are looking for those two angel room items which are, you know, between me and joining the community uh, on my well-deserved pedestal uh, with 1,001% we've got a question mark. It's a little Steven. Little Steven's okay. And I'm going to sort of recharge this single HP we've got from... Oh, to hell with it. <laughs> I've just realised I think all the HP on the ground in this floor is gated by either holes or rocks. And I'm not really in the mood to do anything about that, so let's move on. It's another basement, so at least... Uh, it, <laughs> the basement is obviously the easiest floor. It has easier enemies and fewer annoying fires. Although we have seen that the fires in the burning basement can be as much of a help as they are a hindrance. Two bombs is very nice indeed, thank you. But it means that we don't have to really worry too much about taking damage because we should be able to get through a basement without taking damage. Excellent. I wouldn't mind a spirit heart anyway, just to just to protect us. I'm not feeling like we're going to take damage during the floor. I think we might take damage on the boss. Because it's uh, entirely possible to get a boss fight that we're not entirely... Uh, happy with dealing with. Please leave me alone. <laughs> oh, god. See, I was too busy focusing on that enemy, which can do me a full heart of damage, as well as the fact that if it did me any damage, it would have done me damage. We'll take this pill, but I won't take the pill, if you see what I mean. In case it's a bad trip, that would probably count as red heart damage, and even if it doesn't, I'm not prepared to risk it. Yeah, I mean, it's entirely possible to take damage, and it's possible to get a really annoying boss at this stage of the game, so I would like some sort of protection against red heart damage, just so that we can get that deal with the devil and then ignore it. Um, 
Irregardless of how tempting it may turn out to be. Can stop being a champion. Good. No point going to the shop. I would go to it if it could have been a library, but... I nearly got stuck on a rock there. I suspect it may not be a library, so I'm not going to spend the key on it. We'll find our item room. Before too long, I hope. And then we'll, we'll go on. We have got the sun card, which I will probably use straight up on the boss immediately to damage it. Kind of depends what the boss is. Hmm. I don't like this particular large enemy. We're done. It's another thing that could uh, easily hurt us just by being on the screen so long that we get demoralized by how difficult it is to kill. But we're doing okay, actually. We did get the Halo on the previous floor, and the Halo is an all-stats upgrade. And I'm really appreciating the speed upgrade we got from the Halo, of all things. I will find the item room first. And little Steven is doing some uh, some good for us. Not not a huge amount, but you know, it's little Steven, not big Steven. So cut him some slack, you know. We did get um did get a spirit heart from doing our due diligence here and looking for the item room before we went to the boss, because it found us a spirit heart, a tinted rock on the way past, which contained a spirit heart. And I did take number two because it's basically free bombs forever. But we do have to be careful of that. Now, note that we don't have to worry too much about any of the situations where number two could be difficult for us, like uh, boss rush, for example, because ooh, I'm very glad that I got that spirit heart because that was terrible positioning. Um, boss rush is not required, so I guess we just don't worry about it. Number two is one of those things where you forget you have it on a room as long as boss rush. Uh, okay, a range upgrade, and we will ignore this. We actually will ignore that. That's for once. I'm happy to ignore the uh, the deal with the devil because it turned out to suck. And this is relax, relax, everybody. Didn't even get the poop out of it. Whatever. We will move on. Pretty good haul from that floor. Having mystery sack is pretty nice. I think oh, it's a, a fairly decent item. Oh, this is dangerous. Oh, this is great actually. Number two here is going to be dropping these um, these butt bombs, which are going to cause any enemies on the floor to A, take damage, but B, become confused. Uh, which is not on the floor, but on, on the room. Which is uh, something very appealing to me. So if you stop shooting and then start shooting again, you reset the timer on creating a butt bomb. That didn't die. Okie dokie then. We will take nine lives. It's possibly a terrible idea and we may have been able to uh, hold off on that and do it later but I didn't oh perfect thank you very much so that's mystery sack paying out already with a spirit heart in my time of need being super careful here oh that's awkward it's all right it's not real phantom spikes and um, the reason I took nine lives is that it gives us nine lives obviously dead cat I should say dead cat gives us nine lives because that's what it does but it leaves us with one red HP, which is exactly what we need as Eve to be in the uh, Horror Babylon state without actually causing ourselves to take red heart damage. Now, secret room here? No, secret room here? No. Very well. We have enough bombs to try that, so I thought it would be okay. Um, there's probably some min-maxing I could have done with the nine lives thing there, e.g. Well, actually, that's not true. I was going to say something like we'd take a deal with the devil then come back pick up nine lives and maybe gain HP we're not taking deals with the devil we're not taking deals with the devil we're never going to spend this HP on power-ups for ourselves the only time we would spend this HP is on doing things like picking up uh, nine lives or Abaddon or anything else that can remove HP from us you know as a function of that's what they do uh, Maybe we could get a secret room in no, no secret room there. I'd like the secret room to be next to the curse room so I can go to the curse room. Um, if I can't, as a result of finding a secret room, which basically it's going to be... Again, it doesn't matter about bombs, so we... We have infinite bombs, it's just some of them take longer. No secret room there. So we'll maybe go to the curse room if we get enough... Um, spirit hearts to finance it. Or a way out. This is definitely the secret room, because it always is. Sure, we'll take a trinket. It's counterfeit penny. 
It will increase our financial stability over the course of the game, no doubt. It's early enough that it's valuable, not only in the amount of money that it could produce based on the fact that there's going to be plenty of money between now and the end of the game, but also it's early enough that there's actually going to be... Ooh, Rosary is pretty good as well. Uh, that money is actually going to be useful because there's going to be shops. We will now go to the curse room because the rosary gave us several things, but we will have to look out, of course, for the Bible annoying us in the future. That's okay. Nothing in there, but it's worth a look. There could have been anything. I mean, ceremonial robes or the mark or even the pact. I think pact, I think any uh, devil item can actually show up in the curse room, which kind of makes it even more worth doing for us right now because we're never going to get a devil item from the devil himself. Yes, perfect. Good job. So this this room this floor's going pretty quickly actually. Um that didn't I'm sorry. Exploded the thingy, but didn't give me the thingy. Right. Let's have a look in here, see if we can get a spirit heart. We can't. Tempted to buy that card. Just simply knowing that we have um What do we have? Counterfeit penny, meaning that we'll be able to get more or cash in the future, so maybe buying a card at this stage of the game isn't such a terrible idea. That was a very good little girdy fight, actually. I usually screw that up royally. Let's move on. A speed upgrade is fine, but it's not really what we're after. We need damage now, and maybe some survivability, although if Mystery Sack is going to keep paying out with Spirit Hearts, which it's not, but you know, if it would care to, that would be swell. And we also have Rosary, which I believe just increases the chance of Spirit Hearts showing up. Uh, as rewards for runes. We are defensively pretty well set, I think. Defensively pretty well set. Uh, Rib of Greed would be great uh, if I had Mom's purse thingy so I could hold two trinkets. As it is, I think finding greed in a shop or two is not a big deal to pay. I mean, counterfeit penny, we haven't had long enough to get value out of it, and I think I'd rather keep the value of... Oh, that was just terrible dodging. I don't even know what I did there. I sort of walked into it. Oh, well. What's done is done. I don't really want that either. I think so. Oh, help. We're okay. Pill. I can see forever. Well, I was going to see if there was a secret room there, but now I don't need to, because the pill will do it for us. Please, a bomb. I don't really know if you can control these butt lickers, which is literally what they're called, FYI. Um, I probably could do better than actually... How many fucking butt lickers are there going to be, though? Probably do a bit better than leaving the bomb right in front of me. There's another five cents, so this shot will definitely be worth it. Will I re-roll this run? I mean, it's not a great run, but I think if we've re-rolled out of the things that make Eve Eve, we'd probably be in a bad way. Ah, it's a fall room. That means you can re-roll the item pedestals. Of which that is one, which is perfect. We'll pick it up. We have already got free flight, so we might as well just keep... That was amazing. I... What have we picked up? We picked up the rosary, obviously. What is our other thing that has caused us to take the seraphim transformation here? This is probably going to be good for us in the future. I genuinely don't know why. Maybe it's a halo. That's pretty good. I didn't realise so many items actually contribute to the Seraphim transformation. And really, I don't know what the Seraphim transformation does, but apparently we can fly, so we don't need the Bible. Uh, and if we find our item room, we know whether we want to reload, re-roll it or not. Which we can do, that's what the four does. So we will also re-roll the Bible as well. Well, actually larger is probably okay. Here's the item room. I was nearly didn't go to this room, actually. It looked kind of useless. So we're going to the item room, we'll see what it is. We'll take this, which is pretty good, especially compared to the... Oh my god, we also got Holy Mantle. <laughs> what is this game doing to us? And Undefined, which I'm not going to take because it's not interesting anymore. Oh, hello. Thanks for joining us. Um, I mean... I'd rather have a, a lols run where we get to play with the unicorn stump for a while than 
you know, a, a, a mediocre run where all we're trying to do is get the undefined to be funny. I mean, now that we can't loop on the chest, which is, you know, a bit of a shame that it was removed from the game. Since we can't loop on the chest anymore, undefined doesn't really hold that much, you know, luster. It, it's a lackluster. I believe that's exactly what that word means, so I will use it. It lacks luster, it is lackluster. Yeah. Unicorn Stump, it's just gonna own various rooms and I'm gonna be happy with that. And we got Holy Mantle, which is just a win as far as I'm concerned. Normally we only get hit a maximum of once on any room. We've already seen the super secret room because I can see forever. Showed it to us. We normally only get hit once on any room. Even a boss room. Our damage is not that great, is it? We're going to wait for it to pop up, and then we're going to whack this, and then we're going to run into it like this, and it's going to try its best to hurt us, but it can't, and it's dead. It didn't get an angel room, which makes me sad. Uh, what have we got here? Suicide King. We have got nine lives, but it's really not worth doing. Oh, uh, is it? We don't... <laughs> I'm, I'm going to do it. I think that was worth it. And the reason I think that was worth it is because A, we have the um, all these defensive items that could basically win the game for us. We have the Holy Mantle, which will keep us alive anyway. Fool. I think we take the Fool card. And I keep Petrified Poop because I can't be bothered going back for Counterfeit Penny and that's the only reason. Um, but now we, we only have 1 HP now, which is fine because we're Eve and we can therefore benefit from Horror Babylon even with that. We have very, very offensive and defensively good items, but mostly I'm concerned about the defensively good items vis-a-vis -vis Holy Mantle and the Relic. Uh, that's very good. Um, meaning that... Oh, I'm scared. Sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to speak, but... I, I'm loath to do so because I need to be able to hit these motherfuckers. That's right. You pop yourself on that. There we go. Ah! We've also got nine lives, so it doesn't matter is what I'm suggesting here. Um, if we get hit once or twice, I, I'm likely to get hit once or twice now that we've got fucking Are You a Wizard, but it shouldn't last much longer, I hope. And... Oh, I got hit again. There we go. It's done. And we have the uh, butt bombs. So, worst case, I just keep away from all the enemies on the floor. And, um, and butt bomb them. So we've got a uh, black heart there. I don't know what we did to deserve it, but did it we did. Deserve it we did. Please so. And the reason I've took the fool here is that I'm hoping that we have speed enough to get to the boss rush and then get out of it again. Can't shoot you because you're not orthogonal to me. Which makes me sad. We're gonna drop a butt bomb in a minute, so I want to be over here. Oh, fudge. Right, good. We're on this phase, which is fine. Good. We only got hit once, and that was holding mantle. We have got to deal with the devil. That doesn't make me happy. Several bombs, which we don't really need. I mean, number two. <laughs> it, it's dangerous. Okay, I fully acknowledge this. Especially with me behind the helm. At the helm. Behind the helm? I don't think that's where you want to be. You want to be at it. Yes. Well done. Very good. Um, but at the same time, it's very useful. It can do damage to everything on the floor. Room. Ground. I'm trying to uh, drop another one, but you have to stop shooting to do that. Here we go. Just put a bomb down. You've got 21 other fucking things. No... Spirit Heart in there, but we've got several. I don't know what I did to deserve them. I will buy Mom's Purse. It is called Mom's Purse. There's Mom's Purse and Mom's Coin Purse, so I always assume that I got the name of Mom's Purse wrong because it's... Ow. I tried to get around that, but the bomb got in its own way because it wouldn't slide past the thing. The, the chasm. It's fine. Take this. Telepills. That's another way out of boss rush, I guess. Yeah. No. <laughs> I'm not taking curse of the tower. Under any circumstances, we've got enough bombs. Again, this is another good situation for butt bombs to be in, because these things are a pain in the ass to deal with. Otherwise, 
and try not to pick up Curse of the Tower by accident. If you can manage it, it's uh, probably going to be bad for you. In the long run. Oh, how did I avoid getting hit by him? I don't know. Let's not look a gift horse in the ass. Gift ass in the horse. No, Spirit Hearts, you bastard. I think we're not going to actually make Boss Rush because for some reason I'm being very slow. Uh, probably because I've deliberated too much. I do this a lot. I seem to deliberate and then suddenly I find that I've taken a long time over something that I shouldn't have taken a long time over. We got here a question mark card. Probably doesn't really help us. We should take the key. Oh, where is our item room though? It's the only reason I'm still here. And that quickly, that's good. I guess uh, half the reason I'm going so slowly is that I'm waiting for butt bombs to do their job instead of just you know, getting on with it and doing it myself. You know what? Let's use the question mark card, which I have no use for, right here. Good. No thank you. Let's use bombs. It's probably quicker. No thank you. No, it's pretty good, but not good enough. I have to suggest we're not going to make boss rush if we're going to waste our time on this. Daddy long legs is absolutely what we want. And we will fly in here for free, and we will get hot. We haven't really picked up anything that improves ourselves. In a damage sense, I suppose. Of course we do that for free as well. So I'm just going to explore the rest of this floor since we're not going to get to boss rush. And I'm going to be a little bit gung-ho about it because, you know, I've got holding mantle. What are you going to do? I've never seen that room before. We are in hard mode. Sure. We've got space for two trinkets. We'll take it. Secret room here? Just keys. Very well. Now I'll get my... Uh, I don't really need that card anymore. That was my get out of jail free card. Or get out of boss rush free card unless we can teleport directly into boss rush. That's not going to happen. Oh, we didn't get an angel. But at the same time... I say we didn't. It's, it's not over. But... It's not. Um, there's not that many opportunities left. So it's not our last angel opportunity, but there's not too many left, and of course we have to actually be lucky enough to to get the door open as well as it be an angel room in the first place. Probably vice versa. We have to be lucky enough to get the room open in the first place as well as it be an angel room. But on the other hand, the deals with the devil. If I hadn't wanted precedent with the devil uh, on a normal run, I probably would not have taken them, which is exactly what happened, obviously. I didn't want precedent this time. Uh, but, you know, on a normal run, I probably would have taken one of them from the first deal, just to get precedent. But, like, they've all been shit. So, even having had no precedent... And we got the, uh, please. <laughs> Normally I can't avoid those, and this time I can't run into it. Um, even though we intentionally didn't take precedent, it didn't have any effect. And we ended up with the second devil deal, which was also shit. And that's the worst thing. Like, I, I forewent something, which, agreed, it was a shit devil deal that I forewent. But at the same time, kind of expect that if you're going to get a second one like you would take the first deal with the devil to get the second deal with the devil in normal situation but in this situation I didn't take the first deal with the devil to avoid the oh that's annoying can't afford to do this because we have so many lives and such defensiveness I wonder if you feel blessed means you have a greater chance of getting angel rooms don't really need that. That's one of my favourite trinkets, but we actually don't need it this time. Hmm. Yes, okay, one more. I'm not actually going to spend this life to do this. Run. By doing this, if the bombs explode on us, we're okay. Um, I don't want to spend this life because it's entirely possible that we need the rest of them to get through later floors, because we're not going to get any stronger as a result of not having taken any deals with the devil. 
Well, not even that. Again, <laughs> I've just been saying, the deals with the devil that we did get didn't really make us any stronger. Or wouldn't have made us any stronger had we taken them. Just take all these. Yoink. Thank you. Here are the runes we're after. This is a good place to put a bomb. I find with uh, number two, trying to actually have the bomb in front of you, so you want to be here, basically, when it goes off. Sure. That's some damage. Uh, is very beneficial. Oh, a host trap. Don't mind. I mean, it's not like we can re-roll it. And it does make us immune to explosions, which makes us immune to Mom's foot. Which makes me happy, because now, of course, we don't have to worry so much uh, about not having any XP when we go into the Mom fight. Which is one of the reasons I don't want to spend this life, is that we could spend several attempts beating Mom. We don't have a huge amount of damage. Just wondering whether we can uh, cajole some spirit hearts out of something. It'd give us a little bit of a better opportunity to. Was it really worth these? I want a bit more of an opportunity to play that, um, that self sacrifice room, basically, but I'm not really sure how to go about doing it. See. Oh, okay. The luck upgrade is okay. I just. Take the cartridge. The child's heart isn't really helping us. It's not like we have anything that can assist us with stepping on this a bunch. Right? Because we're not... Oh, hello, Angel. Earth Angel. We don't have anything that can assist us with the mom fight, so that's going to take forever, unfortunately. We don't have uh, an extra HP, so we can't go any further on this, which is a shame indeed. We've been into every room, basically. We have no choice of that matter. Uh, sure. I'm probably not going to fight Mega Satan, even if it uh, comes up. Even if it becomes an option, because it's going to be really hard. So, here we are. We basically do this. We press this. We have the chariot card as well. So, we run around invincible for a while. And then we use the chariot card. <laughs> do it again. We're not really getting the maximum benefit out of this that I would expect. I think we've lost Holy Mantle because I wasn't being very clever with my positioning. So, we're immune to Mom's foot. So, we only need to worry about the bullets that are coming in. And we did do a decent amount of damage, but we've spent our entire... We've blown our load on the, uh, on the guaranteed damage for this fight. So, now we have to make sure that we do really well on the not guaranteed damage, which is where we actually have to shoot it. There we go. Ooh, very interesting. I got shot. I think I got shot just before the deal with the devil would have propped. Hmm. I think it fired just before it died, because everything dies when, when Mom's foot is beaten. But... Hmm. Tinted rock? Oh, there's a black heart that sort of appeared out of nowhere. I don't know what I did to deserve these black hearts, by the way. Maybe it's a combination of evil up in the relic? Might as well take that. Uh, maybe we shouldn't have taken that. Because now it's going to be difficult to get down to a half heart interval. But uh, honestly, keeping hold of that half heart interval for all this time... Was probably, it seemed in infeasible at best. So we got some... I mean, we got some decent items on this run. But none of them has improved our ability to actually beat the rooms. It's only improved our ability to survive the rooms... Like in between beating. Everything's confused. Kill it. Kill it. Which means that we still have to worry about the fact it's going to take us ages to beat half these rooms. So if we're going to get hit twice on any room, we're, uh, we're in trouble. So what we really want to do is have, you know, the sort of uh, take very much. have the sort of damage that means that we don't have to worry about getting hit twice on a room because, you know, everything will be dead. Fuck off! <laughs> hey you! You see that little dick? We could have gone into the curse room for free. No, we couldn't. I was very confident that that was the secret room. Where am I going? Let's just go this way. We're here now. Okie dokie. I like having butt bombs on these floors because those turrets are such a pain in the ass, And having them confused, it just hard counters them completely. Wee. Ah, if you shoot the fires here rather than the poops, that makes way more sense. There we go. 
Didn't think of that until I thought of it. So I guess I did think of it. I previously hadn't thought of it, and then I did think of it, and then it was fair to say I had thought of it. Daddy Long Legs is actually doing all my work for me because apparently I can't figure out when a host is going to pop up. <sighs> Didn't even need to worry about that because we have Holy Mantle, which resets on every transition through a door, which is brilliant. Can deal with that. There we go. These things stay up when they're confused as well. That's great. The size of this. Daddy Long Legs is dealing with things that I can't be asked to deal with, which is wonderful. Just walk into me. Come on then. Great, we actually got a spirit heart for some reason. Careful! <laughs> Don't just blow yourself up because you can. I mean, in fairness, you can't. I mean, you, you can! It's technically possible. Oh, I'm immune to damage. Of course, I'm immune to explosions. And it seems that the immunity to explosions happens before Holy Mantle protects you from it. Like, the, the test. The check to see whether it would have hurt you happens first. So Holy Mantle is also immune to explosions. So I don't need to worry about where my butt bombs are. That's all we're saying here. High Priestess. Pheromones. <sighs> here. Let's do this. Now you shoot you. There we go. And we don't give a shit about the other one because of... Where are these coming from? I don't... I cannot complain about the quantity of black hearts that we're getting, but at the same time, where are they coming from? It's pretty... Quite late, I'm a bit tired. I'm not trying to make excuses, I'm just saying. <sighs> not ready for bed? I'm getting old. Leave me alone. Having all these battery charges around is actually maybe slightly less loath to use unicorn stunt, uh, well, horn quite so often. My little unicorn quite so often because. It's really. I, I enjoy using it, obviously, but it's very too good to use. Because you really want it for boss fights. But I mean, we're getting to the part of the game where boss fights are a dime a dozen. You know, encounter bosses just in, in normal rooms. Where are all my secret rooms? Oh! <laughs> I thought I'd gone through. <laughs> I'm so upset, I'm croaking. I thought I'd gone through the door. So I pressed the spacebar to skip the. Uh... What was I up there? I press the base bar to skip the um, the the boss. Apparently they call it a vignette, but I don't know why. Uh, thinking that I was skipping, you know, to the boss fight. What am I doing here? Uh, it turns out I wasn't. I was just using unicorn horn for no reason. We did get an angel room. We got some more. Well, one more spirit heart, and we got an HP upgrade, which I'm not going to take. <sighs> This is why it's so hard to get a thousand one percent because angel rooms suck balls. I mean, that's that's a particularly poor example. Well, a poor uh, situation because I don't, why am I in here? You know, as Eve, we don't want to have more than one red HP. At least not with the amount of damage that we're doing outside of being in the horror Babylon mode. And plus, we're getting so much uh, extra HP in terms of spirit hearts and black hearts that. It just happens to have worked out, I think, on this Eve run that we can stay in the Horror of Avalon and still get a lot of HP. But, I mean... That's, basically, that's a bad angel room normally. Bombs a key is okay. Because we have about the same number of each. Getting, getting an angel room that's normally shit in a situation where it's actually useless is rubbing salt in the wound, you know? Especially when we need these very elusive items. And it's like, we're trying our best to get these angel rooms sorted out. I'm sure you feel blessed must mean that you're now getting angel rooms, right? That seems sensible. Why are you not confused by that? Don't tell me you weren't in range of the uh, poop explosion. Yeah, get down here. We're doing alright damage. It's just we haven't really picked up too many things that improve our damage. Do you see? I mean, Daddy Longlegs is probably doing most of it anyway. Let's do our Petrified Poop for some reason. There we go. I guess Petrified Poop can cause uh, Spirit Hearts to fall out of poop, so I'm happy with that. 
Okay. <laughs> Try to shoot it closer. I actually shot it further away. Not much use to these, but we may get a a beggar later that we can play to get maybe mapping or something. I don't know. There is use for an eighth for money in the later game, which is not very much of it. Two spades. Well, there you go. Slightly uh, failed to min-max correctly. I could have had 50 coins right now. Uh, 50 keys right now, but instead I have 49. I, I suspect that will make all the difference when we get to the chest. Guppy. No. Still going in these for the guppy chance, but also they're free. So, I mean, who cares? I'm a little bit confused by that room, so I just sort of flustered around until something came of it. I'm glad we can fly for that. I'm not doing it. <laughs> you can't make me. Leave me alone. We got Curse of the Maze into that room. Into a dead end. I blame Curse of the Maze entirely. Uh, yeah, alright, let's go back this way. I mean, that way was obviously fraught with wrongness. We've got here answers, answers. sure. We'll take that. Gives you all the answers. <laughs> Okay, maybe that's the joke. I don't know where these rooms come from. I should educate myself. I saw a post on Reddit a while ago suggesting many more. Um, all of them seem pretty smart, actually. I'm, all, I'm always down for having new sort of community-based ideas in the game, and I'm really looking forward to Afterbirth Plus because that will give people the opportunity to just create these things that they thought of. And then if people don't want to play them, they don't want to play them, you know? Putting things in the real game... I have taken a hit here, by the way, so I've got to be careful. Putting things in the actual game... Uh, it's, it's basically the difference between foisting it on everybody and letting you pick your own game. You know, community mods will always be... Uh, pick your own game stuff. But when you suggest stuff that has to actually... that you intend to... Ooh. I didn't realise I'd, I did realise I'd been hit, but I didn't realise I was about to be hit again before the refractory period was over. Um, whenever you're suggesting stuff that you would, in theory, put into the game, you have to bear in mind that everyone has to play this, so it has to be sufficiently well balanced. I was going to say I'm very pleased that I can't take explosive damage, and then the explosion pushed me into the... <laughs> um, pushed me into the, into the beam. Not happy with that. You know, if you're going to put stuff in the base game, everyone's playing it. So your ideas have to be good. And they have to be appropriate, is the other thing. They have to be appropriate to the, the feel of the game, the, the game's story, whatever Edmund has in his brain. You know, the, in keeping. It has to be in keeping. I'm going to do this one at a time so I can run away if anything like this happens. Run. Get out. So I've got Holy Mantle, which I can use to push past Monstro. Apparently, I can't. This is bullshit, by the way. Leave. <laughs> what was that all about? Okay, that was a terrible idea. Never do that. Whereas, if you've got... That was very lucky. If you've got the uh, mod ability, you could just say, I think this is going to be a good idea. And then if people think it's a good idea, they'll install the mod. And they'll tell other people about the mod. And I think this person's idea of having many more runes could turn out to be a great idea and we'll just see how they work uh, in practice. Uh, that was my daddy long legs, which confused me because it made me think that the original daddy long legs was just coming down out of sequence for some reason. I am going to kill this daddy long legs because A, I've done it, but B, I might have to come back this way. I don't want to have to deal with it again. Relax. Relax. All that poop. Oh, we don't have to go back that way, which is also very splendid. I hate death fights. He actually gets his little hourglass out when he does the time thing, the slow down thing. Usually not really paying attention to the actual death sprite at that time. More concerned with not dying. Excellent. And we did get two spirit hearts from that uh, tinted rock as well. Let's see if we can find a secret room. It's over there. Very well. No guppies in here. So we only got really nine lives out of Guppy, out of the Guppy set, which, oh, I've accidentally been hit, which is a very bad idea, I don't recommend it. We're on the uh, second phase now, so just every 
creature in the world to worry about all at once. Ah, it didn't hit me. Oh my god, I'm taking so much damage. I know I said I was tired, but I didn't think it was going to be a problem. Alright, good. We're on a good stage. I took a lot more damage on this fight than I normally would, which makes me wonder whether I've forgotten how to play Isaac. Maybe I have. It's nice that Host Hat shoots back occasionally. That wasn't very clever. Don't do that. So don't stand on the bomb when it's uh, when it's laid, as it were. Allow it to do its thing. It's a good thing we're fast. If there's anything that we have not suffered for on this run, it's for speed. We picked up the all stats upgrade at the beginning, and a couple of speed upgrades since then. So being able to dodge around the place has not been a problem. Right, we at least beat the fight, but I'm reasonably embarrassed about how much damage I took. E by gum. At least we haven't got a curse on this chest. We haven't got anything to use to improve our lot. But we have got this. Now, just try not to pick up any HP and we should be fine. There are plenty more bombs. Plenty of bomb synergies. We might as well take Bumbo. And just don't pick up any HP by accident and you'll be fine. I don't think there's a way of getting rid of it. Unless we get a Joker card and a deal with the devil, but we have been blessed, so... I suppose that means that we're likely to get Angel Rooms. I'll try that in future. I'll see if I can get an early play on... Eee, I, you were confused. You don't attack when you're confused. That is basically how this game works right now. Fuckers don't attack me when they're confused. It's as simple as that. Holy shit. Also, what did I take my first hit on? Because that, that caused me damage. Should be using these bombs, really. Got plenty of them. We are sure able. Brilliant. We're all here for that. So sticky bombs literally just stick to enemies. Ooh! Egg sack bombs and we got hive mine. Right, I'm definitely using way more of these fucking bombs. Could Daddy Longlist just one-shot monster? I'm happy with that. So confused monstro is actually a bit scary because you don't know when it's going to jump. Or where it's going to jump, I guess. There you go. But these ones don't jump so much, so I think we should be okay. I'm hoping to get some spiders out of them. Yeah. If you kill an enemy with a spy with a bomb, you get spiders. I believe that's how it works. Uh, yeah, it's black heart. You might as well take this. It's another hit, basically. Oh. I don't think they synergize with our number two. Sh uh, bombs, but that's okay. We've got plenty of actual bombs going on right now. You're getting hit as soon as I walk into a room. I was so confused. Where did those come from? It must have been enemies I didn't realise were going to be um, that style. That's a bit of a shame. Sometimes I don't recognise that champions are of a particular type because the colour palette like doesn't merge in the way that I expect. Like, blue enemies that burst into... Oh, fuck. Well, we might as well go for it now. We just ruined our damage forever, so... Game over. GG. Fuck Ragman. Here you go. That's pretty good. <laughs> uh, yeah, no more Horror Babylon, so... Fuck me, I guess. It doesn't seem to matter too much, to be honest. I think Horror Babylon is maybe a bit overrated. Once you start getting further into the game as Eve, um, you're either dead or okay, right? You can't hang on to Horror Babylon forever. In theory. Apparently. What do we got here? What? What makes you small? Yeah, Bumbo, you can have that, I don't care. Oh, sure. We might as well go all out then. Have as much HP as we need. Don't know what's causing these to, you know, appear, but... It could be a Seraphim thing. I honestly don't know. I'm not going to say it large, though. I think that we're... We're at the right speed right now. If we slow ourselves down, we're going to find ourselves in trouble, I think. And when I find myself in terms of trouble, Mother Mary calls to me says, Don't take lard. It's a damage speed down, and you don't need the HP. 
That, that rhymes, but does it scan? Uh, that's an exercise for the listener slash reader. Why am I in here? Good fucking question. Okay, you can have that. <laughs> Doesn't hurt me. Oh, those don't hurt me either. That's alright then. I mean, that's basically the worst part of this fight. Completely countered. So, who gives a shit? Bring it on, mofo. Where you at? Bounce into my bomb. That's what it's for. 20 or 15 bombs then. Maybe I should use fewer. Oh yeah, green green key. That's what that is. Um, when I've got 56 actual keys. But no golden bombs when I've got 15 of them. Apparently, <laughs> little horn cannot affect you if you can fly. La I'm down with that. That's fun. We should do that more often. Let's get together. Pencil me in for a date of pressing the space bar with that. You bounce off of those? Okay. Good to know. Honestly, Unicorn Horn, my little Unicorn is not doing as much damage as I would have expected it to. Which is a shame. Because kind of expect to do more damage. I've had it for this long. I mean, the difference is, if we hadn't taken Unicorn Horn, which I'm going to continue to call Unicorn Horn, even though it's wrong, I would still have the Razor Blade, Razor Blade, but then all the Razor Blade would have given us would be on this exact floor, when I accidentally took too much HP, it would have given us the ability to get back to zero HP. Or one HP. Which, I mean, maybe Unicorn. Oh, hello. Maybe Unicorn Horn is a little bit better than the Horror of Babylon damage bonus. Why? <laughs> Where am I safe? I know not. Oh, we're already dead. That's no fun. Man, our damage is poor. The big baby fight might actually turn out to be pretty difficult. Just based on the fact that I screwed up the Isaac fight, I mean, I know I could just get my head in the game and sort yourself out, but... I don't know how it works. In you know it. Oh, I thought I was dodging around that, but instead I dodged into it, which is very common for me. I can't cope with two of these things. <laughs> how do I... My brain can't follow... I was trying to ignore this one down here until I'd beaten up that one, but the other one started flying around and then I didn't know what to do. These things should have died ages ago, but we just don't have the power. We've had maybe one or maybe two damage upgrades. We've picked up uh, Fat Odd Mushroom, which is a damage upgrade, and we picked up the Champion Belt because I needed a damage upgrade because I hadn't had one. There you go. Boom. I got hit by that because I didn't know where to go, fortunately. I can't get hit by these explosions, so I guess Sloth has nothing on us. Is he even hurting his mate? Oh, he did get a jet car. Interesting. For one thing, how did you know? So deal with the devil with HP in it. Thanks, Daddy Longlist, for the beating up the enemy I can never find. Never hit. Uh, it didn't have anything we could sell our HP for, which is a shame, but we did get Capricorn, which is not a shame. Now got unicorn stuff available, so we use it here. To beat this up. I did get hit again. Man, <laughs> I'm really doing badly about not being hit. No, I don't want that. I want this. There we go. I'm doing very badly about just not dying. Right, we've got seven lives, but I hope we don't. <laughs> Look, this life has full HP. This life has taken its toll on me. I know it's love. Shut up. And at some point we go to hell with it and press the space bar, but it is not this time. That was a reference to Lord of the Rings. It's not this day, but uh, I believe that time and day sort of have semantically, apart from the literal definition, 
they have subtle differences in the way they semantically fit into a sentence as well, in that you can't say not this time in the same way you can say not this day. How did I not get hit there? How did I not get hit? Basically everywhere that I've not got hit so far. Let's use it now, see if we can get any damage done. Please. Daddy Longnose, do your job. Look, I appreciate your work, Daddy Longnose. I don't mean to... Oh, I took some damage there. I don't mean to, you know, belittle your contribution to, to the fight. Thus far in, in the whole episode, you've done nothing but good. But if you could stop stamping just after he teleports so that you miss him. Uh, we could have been out of here like 10 minutes ago, quite honestly. Come on, man. If we hadn't lost our horror Babylon, which we would have done anyway because I would have taken Capricorn, even if I hadn't taken any of the other things, that would have been done a lot quicker. That was 46 minutes, which is far too slow, but we're done. Thank you for watching. We didn't get what we came for, but we will try again in the next episode, so I will see you then.